Hello, hello, everybody. It's with Prof Chop. Hope you all are doing good today. Today is the day of part two. Okay, so we're checking out Rero Run Incident Part Two. Let's go. Let's see what more happened. So, uh, <laughs> so many <laughs> things happened already. Back in December of 2023, I made this video called "How This VTuber Ended Her Career yeah, in the buddy. Most Unhinged Way Possible," and it spoke about Rero Run, a VTuber who was working for the agency called Idol Corp. The yeah. video was in regards to a tweet that Idol Corp put on their account back in November 28th, 2023. It was them the announcing that they had terminated Riroran and outlined why in their termination letter. And guys, <laughs> there was a lot of reasons. Even with all the controversies that have been going on hey, in 2024, it's this Nietzsche. is hands down. What was that about the dude on the bottom? We know Doki on top, but dude on bottom down still the craziest Boss? termination letter in vtubing history is it still it's the craziest like, though listen, dude she abused drugs on stream she hey. created a fan harem effectively absolute chat i'll be honest with you she's an absolute chat sleeping with her fans yeah she accepted gifts yeah, in fuck, the but, thousands you know, of dollars so from was those she. fans and last but not least okay which was one of the craziest things <laughs> is that she had a secretive relationship with the lead talent manager of idol corp implying that she had sexual relations with him they sure found a talent in her huh and that he also has been terminated. <laughs> when this came out, this oh shook my God, the VTuber industry and community. Like, what the hell is this, dude? Usually terminations are kept low key. Like, listen, they went against the NDA. They went against the terms. Hey, it's holo. That's it. But this Russia? went into such painful specific detail. People had to ask questions and talk about it. They then proceeded to delete her Riroran channel on the 1st of January, Damn. 2024. But the thing is, Riroran is a persona that is owned by Idol Corp. Okay. The person behind this persona is none other than Kioresu. Yeah. Known for her many songs and covers, which <laughs> practically feel like a fever dream when you're listening to them. After the termination letter <laughs> dropped, she went to her Kioresu. <laughs> Was that video of her singing the Soviet anthem? Oh Twitter my god, did you see that? This really unhinged meme yeah. saying me after shooting heroin on stream and fucking my managers and my fan. And then saying, As a joke. I didn't totally would though. Shortly after releasing Somewhat. my video on her, we followed each other on Twitter, oh. spoke a bit, and Cute. that was that. We hadn't heard of her for months, but guys. <laughs> she what? what I want to ask Mujin is did he give her the 250 for the sleepy pills or nah? When. You know. She's finally Did you, brother? Back, Come on, and man. she's back with a vengeance. She's back with a vengeance. After taking around a three-month hiatus, she came uh -huh. back with the song called Internet Overdose, Kiyorasu version, based on the game Needy Streamer Overload. Because throughout know the whole incident, things. people were comparing her to this game, ah. where you play as a manager of an extremely unstable streamer. Do you pop them? Streamer. You have the option to give her medication, you have the option Bruh. to sleep with her, you have the option to Mental. do many things that were... But you can sleep with her? In the game? ...alleged by Idol Corp in regards so in this to sense, not only in the game. This was not her apologizing in any way, okay? She was embracing the allegations. With yeah, the lyrics man. such hey, as... Hey, listen, from what we saw already of this girl, she, she apologized, she does not do that. She is who she is. That's... I got That's too it. silly, now I'm in my Joker arc, nobody will protect me anyway, so I can only become stronger, and my antidepressants are not enough, but I do have some pills at home that can help me, my silly pills. <laughs> yeah, she's out of it. She's... She was practically embracing the allegations, she's actually not out of giving it. a single damn about apologizing for out anything, but mind. more importantly, she announced this in her pinned comment. End of hiatus, VTuber debut soon. Keep your eye on the updates. She All was right. pretty much preparing her comeback, All but right. this time as Kyoresu being a VTuber. She then released a one minute cover a month later called Pure Pure, pure, pure. and it performed really, really well. When it okay. reached 420,000 views, she tweeted Damn. about it and said, blaze it. Now guys, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. At that point, I hadn't spoken to her in months, okay? Uh -huh. None of this is staged. I just replied with this because I thought it would be funny, okay? This is just me doing what you do on Twitter, all right? Just farming. What I did said, you do? if you really want to blaze it, you should announce your debut for 420, right? Here's what she replies with. Bet. <laughs> Bro, Guys, I kid you not. I like Eight her, brother. After that initial tweet, I like she said, her. Announcement, debut stream on 420. She's no, absolutely not April Fool's joke. Get ready for the big funny fun. 
big funny That's fun. That's just Kyoresu for you right there, dude. Like, I don't <sighs> even know if this was planned, but <laughs> it's... A... I mean, to be honest, for all those VTuber fans that have imagined sleeping with their actual VTuber that they're a fan of, listen, I, I, most of y'all are crazy. This is your one situation where that shit might actually happen, okay? You know? Amazing. It's and of course, the debut stream was called Silly Pills, Silly Girl. <laughs> so I marked this down on my calendar uh -huh. and I could not wait to see what she had in store. What did she and have in man, store? <laughs> man, did she have something in store was for there us. Silly pills? Just like her songs, this debut was an absolute fever dream where you questioned whether you were conscious or not. She talked about her interests, <laughs> then revealed multiple models, with one hey, that had full body tracking capabilities, allowing her to move in her room and translate oh, it cool. on stream. And then right afterwards, does this. She just shows herself. Oh, damn. On a oh, damn. Wait, she, she looks so much like her past model. Like straight up, like one to one. She's pretty cute, though. Like in that cute step away. To her debut, she claims this is a model. <laughs> her actual face. I see how she got all and that dick. she has to say about it. And I know some of you haters will say, <laughs> No! That, that, that is not a VTuber model. You, you can't be a VTuber if you show your real face. <laughs> You're just a 3D whore. Is that a hey, yo? I mean, to be honest, she's not only a 3D whore. She's a IRL whore as well. But that's besides the point. It's okay. <laughs> uh, my honest reaction to that opinion oh my be... god damn <laughs> that's a I'm small sure middle finger now, but yes this came and reached the best place come and on it was brother crazy but i'm more interested in this one section she has which is do you have any questions oh for god me? where an ai voice pretty much asks her the most asked questions in not just oh her community god. but the vtuber community and in yes as you might guess they're mostly related to her termination oh, notice. God. By the way, shout out to this guy who donated I... ten dollars and said, "Can I be one of your managers?" <laughs> oh, <okay>, brother. <laughs> anyway, knows, she answers the questions game. in well, <laughs> an unhinged fashion, as you would expect from her. So, <laughs> I, I don't think she ever had any hinges. I won't sugarcoat it. Have you ever fucked a manager? <laughs> No, I've never met any of my former or current managers in person ever. Huh? This is a good one. Do you fuck fans for money? <laughs> no. If it I ever do, it'll be for pleasure. No. Yeah. Oh, that fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, brother. <laughs> Bro, she knows exactly what she's doing. Wait, so she did bang the manager? Well, oh, she doesn't want to say so she banged the, the manager. Project the project. There is, is it? no harem project. <laughs> Oh, no, I mentioned it once when I was tripping on meds all high and delusional. <laughs> Understood. She's like, yeah, bro. I was just on meds. I was delusional. I was talking about a harem. Yeah, you know, just another day in my life. And the chat is just loving it. I got a Not chance, question too. mark. I Apparently, see you, brother. I only take my antidepressants. However, uh -huh. I used to take anxiolytics that I got from the hell is that? The doctor and sleeping pills with the same active substance. Have you so, yeah. When she said silly pills at the time, she was referencing sleeping pills. This was a known yeah. fact. We didn't need the termination notice to know this. Damn. Now, are sleeping pills by themselves so substance abuse no but when you take them for dono goals yeah that's that's maybe some people that's questionable that way you know but it's her choice at the end of the day you know what she is a strong independent woman she can do whatever she wants whoever she wants as well for drug abuse i haven't it might be hard to believe that i've <laughs> never been medically addicted to any substance yeah i mean anyone could see she was I just mean, doing it for the content i don't yeah. see why people thought she was yeah. addicted you know so, so the content let me ask you this so you the ever content, accepted right? gifts from no oh. harem, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, Eugene, why you gotta be like that, yes. brother? Still got a chance, yes, brother. I always had and I have shot. always been vocal about it. In yeah. Fact, I have a throne account. Let's go. A throne shameless account? Plug. What is a throne? Absolute ever... shameless plug. <laughs> lied or hidden something big from your employers before? No, actually, I've always been upfront and honest about my actions without even waiting to get asked for it. Unfortunately, with time, I learned that oversharing and trusting blindly is a mistake. Bro, she was just too it's honest. Resting. She was too honest for us. Hey, listen. I know. She like... Okay. Listen, bro. I'm on your side, you dumb little gremlin. But listen, when you sign to an agency, I imagine they give you like this little list of shit you shouldn't do. Bitch. You did all the shit on the list. You did it all. You didn't kill a person. That's pretty much the only thing you didn't do. 
God damn it! What do you Rivals mean oversharing? Then why are there so many weird rumors about you? <laughs> mm, I wonder why. Could be a silly guess, but maybe someone posted a public message that was worded in a misleading way that caused public <laughs> harassment and made people create mm. crazy theories about me. Oh, uh, I don't know mm. what she's talking about. That's just my crazy theory. <laughs> I, no I mean, I listen. Even without the message, she's crazy enough on her own to have those crazy theories and crazy, you know. What's talking about? Here's the big one. Why the don't you one. sue? So in, not worth it. Realistically, there are cases when suing some entity would be too expensive and mentally taxing to do, especially when that entity relied on people's interpretation and got their ass covered legally. Mm. I decided that I want to focus on myself instead of fighting for just a glimpse of internet justice. Well, that 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 sounds a lot like you tried to sue, or at least you pursued the idea, and then you found out you could do shit. Because, I mean, listen, yeah. We should not be taking sides in these internet dramas without knowing all the things, all the information. We're never gonna get all the information, right? So just take everything at, you know, a little bit of, you know. I don't believe what you're saying. You're making it up to appeal to people. I need proof. <laughs> well, we can't well, have proof. Yourself, then. <laughs> Damn. I'm not gonna call it just appointment to prove who I did fuck and who I did not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I still need you to face. answer this question. We don't have all day, buddy. Maybe next time. Damn, she is kind of out of it. What an amazing cutie. Honestly, he's a maniac. I don't care if you can go fuck yourself. I like yourself. her, though. <laughs> like, come I'm on, maybe. I'm with you on this one. I, uh, Guys, by the way. I don't know. She's a brother. She, she's a maniac. I don't know if I'd side with her. She's cool. But in that sort of like, uh, do you stay over there? I'm here so you don't, you know, make me do some crazy shit. I want to point out something. On, this dude donated $50 and just said also, also show feet. feet. Did she show feet <laughs> though? Look, I do agree with her when it comes to suing. I don't know, maybe oh. Legal Mindset can give us his opinion since, you know, he's an actual lawyer. But suing an entity, especially in another country in international courts, it's just not worth it. If anything, the damage is done. It's not going to change anything Man. if she wins. It. Listen, you don't. It's not worth it. No, it is worth it if you can win the case. You can probably win a shit ton of money. Okay, so it definitely is worth it. Plus, everybody's gonna have to be like, oh shit, she wasn't doing it. The thing is, if you can't prove it, obviously you're gonna say that it's not worth it, right? Because uh, trust me, if it's a big ass company, especially a company with money, I mean, they weren't that big and I don't, I don't know how big they are. I suppose that they went bankrupt, but they had money, okay? So they, <laughs> come on. Court. But was it really damaged? Because as I predicted at the end of my last video, I said, dude, this is only going to benefit her because True. she didn't do anything illegal, even if all those uh, things were real. Kind of writing the, the line, but technically, yes. I don't think she actually did anything that lawfully illegal. She's a degenerate, though. And uh, the thing is, she's an honest degenerate. And that helped her out a lot because she wasn't like a pretending to be a normal person or also being an absolute fucking degenerate on the side so that helped her out a Real. lot she did it as an adult with other consenting adults so mm. it's fine she's doing great in fact here's one of my favorite highlights from one of her most recent streams it's her just innocently making drinks Innocent. into soda check this out yeah i don't know if she can do anything innocently i don't trust her that face now, let's is let's see if i carbonated this well let's see Ugh. Okay, that looks like jizz straight up. Go check her channel out. What if you're the interested hell is in absolutely that? unhinged content and use the like button on this video to vote with your opinions on whether you want to see me and Kioresu do a Okay, brother. Alright, so let me know what y'all think. Do, do you think she's an innocent little gremlin that did nothing wrong? Or do you think she was set up? What do you guys think? I'm curious what people are gonna say in the comments because this is, we don't really have enough, a lot of information. We'll probably never get more information than this. So I'm curious. Let me know what y'all think. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll check y'all next time I can talk. Bye, everybody. Have a good day.